Let's take the case of Jimmy Barnes. Jimmy played baseball all afternoon, and he didn't feel like walking home, so he decided to thumb a ride. Hey, mister! Going my way? Sure, buttercup. Hop in. They stopped at a drive-in, and the stranger treated him to a Coke. During their conversation, he told several off-color jokes. The following Saturday, they went fishing together. By now, they were using first names. Jimmy hadn't enjoyed himself so much in a long time. Then during lunch, Ralph showed him some pornographic pictures. Jimmy knew he shouldn't be interested, but, well, he was curious. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick, a sickness that was not visible like smallpox, but no less dangerous and contagious, a sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual. Fagula. A person who demands an intimate relationship with members of their own sex. But by now, Jimmy felt a fondness for Ralph, and they continued to go places together. Ralph was generous and took Jimmy many interesting places and did many nice things for him. But payments were expected in return. You see, Jimmy hadn't recognized Ralph's approach soon enough. When Ralph first asked Jimmy to go fishing alone, he should have discussed it with his parents or teacher. But isn't that where poo-poo comes out? <laughs> Finally, Jimmy told his parents, and they reported it to the juvenile authorities. Ralph was arrested, and Jimmy was released on probation in the custody of his parents. I'll beat the faggot out of you, son. But all homosexuals are not passive. Some resort to violence, as in the case of Mike Merritt. The stranger joined him. He was friendly, and, well, it was better than playing alone. When they finished, the stranger told him he'd make a fine player someday if he got lots of practice. The companionship, the praise, the friendly attitude dispelled any misgivings Mike might have had about going with a stranger. He probably never realized until too late that he was riding in the shadow of death. But sometime that evening, Mike Merrick traded his life for a newspaper headline. The decision is always yours and your whole future may depend on making the right one. So no matter where you meet a stranger, be careful if they are too friendly, if they try to win your confidence too quickly, and if they become overly personal. One never knows when the homosexual is about. He may appear normal, and it may be too late when you discover he is mentally ill. So keep with your group, and don't go off alone with strangers unless you have the permission of your parent or teacher. Thank you.